everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today I want to be talking to you about the tic-tac-toe method and how to use it when solving arterial blood gas problems. In nursing school, you'll be required to learn arterial blood gas values and how to interpret that based on those values. For instance, is a patient having respiratory alkalosis or are they having metabolic alkalosis? And you have to be able to differentiate between those two and also you'll have to know whether the patient's trying to compensate or if they're partially compensating. So in nursing school, I remember having to solve these problems, and these problems gave me a lot of difficulty. But then someone showed me how to use the tic-tac-toe method. So in this video, I want to show you what the tic-tac-toe method's about, how to actually set up a problem with it, and talk to you a little bit about um, pH levels, HC3O levels, and things like that. In the next video, video, we're actually going to work these ABG problems. So be sure to check out that next video and work the videos along with me. And then after that, check out the free quiz we have on our website, registernursern.com, and test your knowledge on ABGs along with other NCLEX quizzes and personality quizzes that we have. So first, let's talk about the tic-tac-toe method and how to use it with ABGs. First, the very first thing you want to learn before you start solving ABG problems is you need to learn the normal values because in a problem, you'll be given the pH level, you'll be given the pCO2 level, and you'll be giving, given the HCO3 level. So you need to know what the normal ranges are for people. So here are the normal ranges. I would write this down. pH level, the normal is 7.35 to 7.45. Anything over 7.45 is a base. Another word for base is alkalotic, which is alkalosis. Anything less than 7.35 is an acid, so it'd be acidotic. Um, I'm gonna skip to HCO3 because it's the same. Um, 22 to 26 is your normal range for that, and that represents metabolic. So anything over 26, would be um, basic, it would be alkalotic, just like with the pH, and anything less than 22 would be an acid, so it would be alkalotic. So they would be having a metabolic problem and it would, they would be alkalotic, I mean acidotic. Okay, for the PCO2, this represents your respiratory level. Um, it's the opposite for what the pH and the HCO3 are. This a lot of times throws people off. So just remember PCO2 is opposite and it represents your respiratory. So for instance, anything less than 35 is basic. So it's alkalotic. Anything over 45 is acidotic. So it's an acid. So you'll want to memorize these values because this is your baseline for whenever you're comparing your problem that you're given to how to set up the problem. So I would write that down, like I said, before you actually start working your problems. Next, let's go over the actual setting up for the tic-tac-toe method. As you see, this looks like a basic little tic-tac-toe. You know, whenever you used to play with your friends, you would set up the tic-tac-toe like that, and someone would be O's, another person would be X's, and you would play like this, and oh, you got tic-tac-toe. We're not really using the X's and O's. We're gonna throw that concept out, but we are keeping the concept of lining something up with the threes in, in a row of threes. So for our grid, for the tic-tac-toe grid, we've automatically gonna put acid, normal, base. And this is easy how it's set up. Anything for the pH or the HCO3, and remember anything that's less than the normal value is an acid and anything greater than that value is a base, except for respiratory. Remember PACO2 is the opposite. So let's just work a problem so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, in this problem, the patient's pH is 7.23. Their PACO2, which represents respiratory, is 50, and their HCO3 is 30. And remember, HCO3 represents metabolic. Okay, after you've set up your tic-tac-toe, you've wrote acid, normal, and base up at the top, you're gonna look at your pH. It's 7.3. So remember, normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So it's 7.23, so that would make it an acid. So under acid, we're gonna write pH. 
Okay, now we're gonna look at PaCO2, and remember, that represents respiratory. It's 50, and looking at our normal, PaCO2 normals are 35 to 45. So since it's 50, remember, it's the opposite for respiratory. It is an ac it's going to be an acid, not a base, it's an acid. So our PaCO2 is acidic. So under that, we're going to put PaCO2. And always solve your problem before you start doing your crosses because we need to know how our metabolic fits into this because this is going to tell us if we're compensating or not. So always put all your values in before you cross down in your three letters. So the HCO3 is 30. Normal HCO3 is 22 to 26. So it's 30. So because it's greater than 26, it's basic. So they're alkalotic. So under base, we're gonna write HCO3. Now, we already have our tic-tac-toe. And looking at this, you know that this patient, because we have three in a row, this is where you're gonna interpret if it's respiratory or metabolic. PaCO2, what does it represent? Respiratory, so we know that we have a respiratory issue. Now, for instance, let me just throw this out here. If these two values were switched, say HCO3 was over here and PaCO2 was under base, because we got the cross underneath here, that would be a metabolic problem instead of a respiratory problem. So we have respiratory problem. Now we have to decide, are we alkalotic or acidotic? Very easy. Underneath on our grid, we know it's an acid. We have respiratory acidosis. Next thing we have to determine is this patient compensating or are they uncompensated? They are partially compensated and this is how I know that. Because the body is trying to compensate, the metabolic value is thrown off. So it's not normal. So they're partially compensating. Now if our HCO3 was normal, say it was 25, because remember 22 to 26 is normal, this 25 would be under the normal range. The body's not doing anything to try to help balance that act out because your body's always trying to do homeostasis and do a balancing act. Because if it was under normal, it would be and it would be uncompensated. But because the body's trying to correct itself and throw the metabolic rate off, it's partially compensated. So your answer to that question would be respiratory acidosis partially compensated. Now in my next video on how to actually work these problems, we get a little bit more in depth. We talk about all the disorders and if they're compensated and uncompensated using the tic-tac-toe method. It's very easy, um, will help you on NCLEX, help you on HESI, your ATIs, on how to just solve these problems. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to visit registernursrn.com. We have a lot of free NCLEX um, quizzes, personality quizzes, ABG quizzes, care plans, everything you need to help you in nursing school and after nursing school. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.